I am safe at home. On day four. Blessed be God and blessed be this day. God and his mercy is so great and it brings me unexpected joy. I don't know what's going to happen today. I know that if I live it intentionally, serving him, serving others, always being mindful of the needs of others, even if it's just my family. Today will be blessed. Already this morning, I was wondering where I could find some flour. We have rainy days ahead and we would love to make some homemade Play-Doh. I put a general request out to my friends. Has anybody seen flour in the stores? I hadn't found any. My sister, who lives not too far away, happened to be going to the store and found me a bag of flour and brought it by. It's such a simple gesture, but it just, it lit my day. Um, one, that my sister would do that. Not surprising, because she's very giving and thoughtful. Uh, but then thinking ahead to my children having something to do on the gloomy days that are ahead. Uh, just when the sun goes away, it really brings down the mood in the house. So I am optimistic for today because it's going to be near 60 degrees and sunshiny and we have seen quite a stirring of the people out for a walk. We have a sidewalk in our front yard and a walking path in our backyard. And I've never seen, in the couple years that we lived here, I've never seen this many people. Um, it probably is in effect of people not being able to use their gym memberships, not that they necessarily used them before, but um, the walking path is now the neighborhood gym. And uh, we are tired of being cooped up in our houses and it's beautiful days, which have been a little bit rare. So everybody's getting out, including my family. It is such a gift. Praise God for this beautiful sunshiny day because it is going to lift the hearts of so many people. What am I thankful for today? I am thankful for sunshine. Yesterday was a sunshine day and we were outside and I was doing homeschooling with the children. I was cutting everybody's hair and people were walking by and smiling and waving. They weren't just like staring at their path, but they were looking around at our home and others to see who else was out and waving and smiling and anybody who knew us greeted us by name. <sighs> Love of neighbor. It brings me to tears because I never thought that I would have this much joy of someone that I barely talk to in my neighborhood, but who I, I know from church, for her to walk by and say, hello, Melissa, <laughs> it just tears to my eyes. Love of neighbor, how much I appreciate that. And seeing my sister in person a few feet away from me brought me so much joy that personal connection that we have the ability to see people face to face oh my lord that is such a beautiful thing that we take for granted 
connection with other people. So why am I making these videos? I don't know. Just kind of felt called to do it. Let the Lord take it where it may be. I won't touch my face. So I'm just saying hello to everybody. Hello to my friends. Hello to my family. Hello to the strangers. We need that personal connection. What can you do today to connect with someone else? Whether it's someone you know or someone you don't. If you're going out on this beautiful day, don't be afraid to say hello. I'm not asking you to go up close to someone and hug them and share germs. I'm asking you to say hello. Give a smile. You don't know how much that could affect the rest of that person's day. That person can be feeling so isolated and got out for their walk just to be among people, hoping to walk past somebody and to be met with your smile. Mother Teresa quote that I keep on my phone as a reminder. What a shame it is when people come to you looking for Jesus and all they find is you. Now that might not be exactly how she worded it, but it's pretty close. Just the idea that when we allow Jesus to live through us, when we empty ourselves completely and just allow God to direct our day, and meeting simple needs of others that when they meet us they're seeing Jesus even if they don't believe in Jesus they will come to know him by our words and deeds so say hello look up smile even if you're not feeling like smiling today just make eye contact and smile and acknowledge that person that you're walking by. And if you have children and them all a piece of chalk, go for a walk. Mark little smiles and hearts and crosses along your path. Write words of encouragement. You never know. Who's going to look at that and say, thank you, God. Thank you for seeing me today. Thank you for your goodness, graciousness, and kindness. Thank you for the love of my neighbor. I am not alone. You are with me always. You have not abandoned me because I see you, Jesus, in those around me. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.